He's a baseball Hall of Famer, but Dolan Ryan is also a barbecue legend. Oh, yes, he is. Ryan even has a new cookbook out in stores. But right now, he's here in our Fox 26 studios with our contributor, Cleverly Stone. Good morning to you both. Hey, you guys. Can I tell you that I am just beside myself with excitement mm -hmm. about, and look how I channeled him this morning, like we're coordinating colors. Mm -hmm. You were impressed with that, weren't you, Nolan uh, very Ryan? Very much so. I know. See, I, I channeled you. I didn't realize. <laughs> Now I do. <laughs> so excited to have Nolan Ryan, baseball legend, of course, but now he's a culinary legend. Well, I don't know about that, but... Uh, yes, you are. So you had this great new cookbook called, what is the full name of it? Nolan Ryan Beef and Barbecue Cookbook. Now, what impressed me, Nolan, is that the, uh, the stories that you write about, because this isn't just, you just didn't hire someone to write a cookbook and put your name on it. Well, what we tried to accomplish here was tell the story about how I got in the beef business, been in the beef business for 40 years, and how we started a meat company, and uh, just kind of explain to people that uh, besides being a ball player, mm -hmm. I was able to pursue another passion of mine, and that's the cattle business, and and the final product is sitting on the table today. And so we use this uh, cookbook as an opportunity to tell that story and then to just explain things about meat that people call and ask us or, or text us or email us about uh, what do they do with this after they buy it. Right. Okay, so you're going to give us some grilling tips in this segment. And by the way, everyone, he, he will be with us at 9 o'clock as well, so stay tuned for that. So give us some grilling tips, Noel. Well, what we have here is, first of all, grilling tips is if uh, you can take your meat out of the refrigerator and take it straight to the grill. You mm -hmm. don't you don't have to um, uh, set it out and let it get to room temperature. You don't want to do that. You want to bring it straight to the grill. You want to trim any excess fat off of it so it doesn't you don't get it flared up. You don't want your fire too hot. Uh, you can test that by holding your hand over whatever height the meat's going to be at and uh, for four seconds, if you uh, can't hold it there, then you, for four seconds, then your fire probably That's a great too tip. Hot. So yeah. over the grill. At the grill. same height. Now, yeah. you know, obviously this is a grill, so you wouldn't do that here, but uh, if you have a fire that's mm -hmm. uh, or charcoal or whatever source you're using for your heat. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, um, those are some tips that uh, people wonder about because I think if you have too hot a fire, then you're going to sear your meat and you're not going to get it done to the level that you want and you'll have... It'll be raw on, inside. Right. Right. So uh, those are some of the things that, uh, mistakes that people make. Yeah. Now, do you prefer charcoal or wood or an electric grill? If, if I'm out in my backyard, I would prefer for pecan wood. Mm -hmm. I think the pecan smoke flavor gives you a little added flavor. Uh, a lot of people here in Texas use mesquite because it's so readily available. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, when you go out to a restaurant, Nolan Ryan, what's your favorite cut of meat to order? A filet. Filet mignon? Mm -hmm. I am so with you on that. I'm a filet girl. Why do you like a filet well, mignon? Well, I like it because <clears throat> it's real consistent. It's lean. It has a lot of flavor. And, and I've just developed a, a taste for it. And, and uh, I know I'm going to have a good eating experience yeah, with it. Yeah, and I like is that it doesn't have a lot of fat or gristle. Right. It's like all delicious, right. edible meat. Right. Right? All right, so tell us about this recipe. What is this burger called? Okay, this is the American burger, <clears throat> and you start with, you, you grill your bacon, and then you dry it with paper towel and set it aside, and then you have cheddar cheese, and you have Montreal seasoning, and what you do is you you take your ground meat mm -hmm. and you mix these ingredients in it, and you put four eggs in it. You start with uh, eight pounds of uh, meat, and um, <clears throat> then you uh, put four eggs in it, and that's to hold it together. Right. And you make them about uh, your patty's about three quarters of an inch thick, mm -hmm. and then you grill them. Oh, so you put raw eggs and you mix it in. Right. Got and, it. And that's a binder to hold it together. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Delish. <laughs> okay, so everyone, would you like to meet Nolan Ryan? You can meet Nolan Ryan because he's going to do two book signings for his fabulous new cookbook. And he will be uh, 4 to 6 p.m. today in Willis, Texas at the Kroger Marketplace. And tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Blue Willow Bookshop right there at Memorial and Derry Ashford on the west side of Houston.